IPC practices increase among both the communities, health workers in the district. The rural system of water supply improves. If you go to Mire, you go to Abirokong, people are now having access to pipe running water, which is easier to, to, to fetch. You take a shorter time. Actually now we are we are okay. We are planting our things like okra, like skuma, many things like dodo. We are selling others we are eating. My things are now okay because of that water. When this uh, installation of the water system picked up, I started now getting relief before the water reached in my compound because I know I'm going to have water source near my point. I use also water for feeding my pigs, giving water for pigs, uh, at the same time also for poultry. The availability of water is there. I don't have problem with the, with the sanitation problem. Last time we have been bathing something like one in a day, but this day we are, you just bathe anyhow, with, any day, any time which you want. We have much water, even though you see my children, they are now healthy because of that water. Like if you have your husband, they are dirty, like Jerakan, you will just wash, but last time even getting the water is a problem. It is okay for me to pay that <coughs> money for that tap because that tap is helping me a lot to keep my children well and also it, it protects me getting some disease like diarrhea. I know the benefit of this water. So voluntarily I decided, I said since the communities are paying uh, 2,000, me I'm going to pay 5,000. My idea is the community should also catch up with what I'm doing. They should know the benefit of this water. You cannot have water when you don't have food. And you cannot survive when there's no food. So water and food work hand in hand.